Comment your questions. Let's do some Q&A. Let's do some Q&A. Text the word T-Walk, T-W-A-L-K, to the phone number 41372 if you haven't yet to get that free guide of foods to eat and foods to avoid. What up, TikTok? What up, IG1, IG2? Let's comment some questions. Let me help y'all out on y'all's health journey. How can I assist you? Let's get us wait for some people to get in here. Click that arrow at the bottom right there and share this. Share this with five people. Comment done. Yeah, yeah. So today is day five of my liquid juice fast. So I ain't had nothing but pressed juice and water for the past five days. So today I feel like doing some chewing. So I'm going to break up the monotony of it and have some black seeded watermelon, which is still like 98% water. Of course, the seeds is going to be cheating a little bit. And I'm doing another five days of nothing but nothing but fruit. Yeah. Comment some questions. I'm going to answer some questions while I'm eating, chewing the first thing I've chewed in five days. I'm on all three phones. Shout out to TikTok, IG1, IG2. Let me move this up some so I can see y'all's comments too. Yeah. Yup, where you get your seeded melon? I'm in uh, I'm in Florida, so it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy out here in Florida. What issues y'all dealing with? Let's come here and talk to y'all. If you haven't yet, yeah, today's day five. Nothing but straight liquid pressed juice and water. It's the first thing I'm chewed in five days. As soon as I eat this. Back to nothing but juice, water, five days. Down 10 pounds in four and a half days, by the way, also. Y'all know what it is. And you know I'm using the herbs, the detox and parasite herbs, the capsules, links in the bio. Mail me some of those watermelon seeds. What's the best way to fast? What well, a full fasting protocol, it's going to be dependent on what you're doing, too, on what your goal is. But that is in the 30-day detox and reset. But you can never really go wrong with fruits. But when you're using fruits, you also, it'll be beneficial for you to juice them because when you're juicing them, it allows your body to process it much quicker and your body doesn't have to use as much energy to digest food. And the goal of fasting is to give your body a break from having to utilize energy to digest foods to being able to use its energy to heal, repair replenish, rejuvenate cells. Because when you have damaged cells, that's what disease is. So the point of fasting is to make sure your body can use all its energy and power and might to replenish and rejuvenate cells. Versus, dang, I gotta break down this food again. A lot of y'all, I gotta break down this whole damn steak. I gotta break down all these beans, all this damn rice, all this. So every time your body thinks about, all right, we finally got a little bit of time to repair the body. Here you go chewing the protein bar and a protein shake and another piece of chicken and some other weird stuff. And then your body's like, oh, here it goes. And it goes back to using all its energy <laughs> to digest food. And this is why you get sicker over time. Somebody comment free game. I need to make sure y'all paying attention. Love to hear you explain. 50 pounds, 50 pounds. You say you lost 50 pounds or what? I see 50 pounds approximately. I need a full reset. Where the heck do I start? The 30 day re the 30 day detox and reset, which you get for free when you join Holistic Health University. Links in the bio, the Holistic Health University. I give you detailed protocols for every single disease and illness, what herbs, how to mix them, how to make them, how to prepare them, where to get them from, what amino acids to assist, how many milligrams, how many I use, how to fast, how to break your fast, all the herbs you could possibly need, all that. I chose a good one. I chose it. This joint. Sweet as hell. Sweet as hell. Free game. There we go. Let me look at some of your questions here on the backup page. Let's see. What's the best way for your wang to get bigger? Well, I will say, if you got lack of blood flow, that means when you get an erection, when you get excited, it could potentially get bigger because, you know, you ain't even hard all the way, right? That joint should be, it should be no flick. It shouldn't even, you should be able to flick it and it shouldn't even move. <laughs> Sturdy. And a watermelon is going to be great for that. And you can also juice the rind. 
Yeah, ready to rock and roll. Get those love strong pills. So that's one. Y'all ready for the next thing? Y'all ready for the next thing? Somebody says, how to get my wang bigger, right? <laughs> it's real stuff. It's real stuff, right? Let me also say it. There's a thing called transgenerational epigenetics, right? Now, we know, right? A lot of y'all freaks in here, women in here, dudes in here, whatever. You know what it is. It is more, let's say it's a stereotype, that black people of African descent have bigger Johnsons, right? Can we all agree that that's very, a very common thought process? Comment one if we can agree. Man, that doesn't, if you comment one, it doesn't make you gay. Just, it's, you know, we know what's up, right? Now, transgenerational epigenetics comes into play. Comes at once. I'm talking about how to get a bigger penis right now. Somebody asked, I never neglect a question. What if I told you the plastics we're exposed to, the plastic containers we're drinking out of, that we're eating out of, the microplastics found in that blue, you know, that baby blue, M-A-S-K, I don't even use that word. Y'all used to cover your face for the past two years? Y'all members of my university, you should have seen the video. I have a video on that breaking this down. That has been scientifically peer-reviewed studies that these things are causing a hormonal change, slowly turning men into women, and plenty of studies showing that the average Johnson size is beginning to develop at a slower rate and become smaller and smaller due to these specific microplastics that we are consuming, eating, putting on our face all day, every day to protect us from respiratory illnesses. And they are turning us into women. So therefore, if it turns you into women, to a woman in your genetics, plus the transgenerational epigenetics, now children are being born with smaller Johnsons. This is studies. I got a video on this in my Holy Scout University showing you the facts. Right? So there's one for someone who asks about smaller wangs. Can I take it a step farther? Can I take it a step further? Huh? Comment one if I can keep going. I just came over here to answer some questions while I eat some watermelon. Day five of my liquid juice and water fast. Today I wanted to chew something. I went and bust down a watermelon. Wow, this is tragic. Very true. Very true. All right. Now, we talk about the African descent, right? You know. So, not only are we not eating enough nutrients to get our blood flowing where it needs to be going, we're eating red meat and things like that would slow down our blood flow and circulation. Was going to cause less blood flow throughout your life every time you get excited. Not as much blood's going to be flowing, so that's going to cause smaller. But <clears throat> I mean, okay. When you pit, obviously not everywhere. Not when we look at these ancient African tribes and things like that, right? Some of the tribes over there today, all of them, right? Do we ever see them wearing boxers and underwear? Do you ever see African tribes wearing boxers or underwear? Now, this goes into the chemicals that are in not only the boxers and underwear. Nah, right? You don't see it. You never see African tribes wearing boxers or underwear. So let's just think from a, a logical standpoint, right? Like, let's just throw, just let's just use common sense, right? If there's one group of people, I'm just going to keep real. If there's one group of people who never wears boxers and underwear or anything down there throughout their life, throughout their family's life, throughout their dad's life, their granddad's life. Now, every time they're walking, what's happening? Gravity, right? So therefore, they walk in. It's just, it's just swinging around, right? It's just swinging around, flowing, getting air to it, getting sun to it, 
get what you get, nutri all the nutrients you need, the vitality from the sun at different spectrums of the light. So therefore, their wang is so and so, the term you use, is getting more nutrients, more blood flowing, more naturally occurring swingage <laughs> than anyone else. You can say pause, ayo, whatever. Let's just be, let's be logical and use facts. Versus every man in America, your dad, your granddad, is walking around with their nuts sucked up. <laughs> right? With your nuts and your Johnson sucked up, being pulled up. So therefore, throughout your life, it's never getting the natural flow, the nutrients, the vitality from the sun, and it's being pushed up in you. Push it up. Put it on and push it up. Push your balls up. Put your nuts up inside you instead of letting them swing like they should. Huh? <laughs> Somebody comment, free game. Sometimes, let's just be logical. So if there's a group of people who always, in the famous words of rapper Takashi 6 9 let the nuts hang. They let the nuts hang. Fuck you mean. Therefore, it may make sense why, typically, their Johnson, their Wang, their whatever terms you want to use, would be longer, stronger, and so on. Somebody comments some ones. You can say pause, you can say yo, or you can say that makes sense. <laughs> it, it makes sense, right? Comment some ones. I never talked about that. Hey, what up, April? I just got done explaining why people have smaller penises than others and how to fix that. So, therefore, I, I don't know what that means. Um, therefore, I don't be wearing draws. <laughs> Anybody that knows me, I don't wear no draws. What do they call it? Free balling. I let my nuts hang. Oh, you should. Right? If I wouldn't go to jail, I'd walk around with no shorts and just a fly ass shirt and my shades and a, and a do rag and my jewelry on and no shorts. <laughs> Let's get to the next question. Where you get them glasses? Who made them? This is a brand called, I don't even know how to pronounce it, some foreign joint that had me on a waiting list for like three months of Sax Fist. As soon as I seen them, y'all know me, I love glasses. I'm a glass collector. And I said, I need these. So they just came in the mail two days ago. These was about 600. I got two pair. The other pair ain't come in yet, but yeah. You, just keep it real. Next question. I'm just answering any question y'all ask while I'm on his live. Best healing from surgery? <laughs> what surgery? You said I missed a good one? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very important to let your nuts hang. You could do a kill. Hey. I've been wanting you since I was 13. You're creeping me out, okay? I'm going to have to block you because we don't want no weird... None of that. We ain't with none of that. We ain't with none of that weird stuff that's going on in the world. Yellow watermelon with seeds is going to be better for you than red watermelon with no seeds. I did a video on that. Somebody asked, what about yellow watermelon with seeds? I did a video explaining exactly why it's yellow and why. It's funny, a lot of y'all are sharing me that old guy, that watermelon video, that old guy. And it's funny because so many people are sharing that. I made that same exact video except more in depth like three years ago. And it's on my page and it gets reposted by my virtual assistant like once every month or two. So you don't need to share me that. I've been told you that. Consume the seeds also. Yes. Great plant based source of protein, iron, calcium, magnesium. If you're not getting the black seeds, you're missing out on a lot of the value from the watermelon. Yeah, I mean, I like to be stylish too, don't get me wrong, but yeah, I protect my eyes from blue light. I got three phones up right now on the laptop over there. When blue light is 
throwing off your hormonal imbalances, causing hormonal imbalances. It's also, it's also um, bad for your insulin resistance. So it can actually increase your rate of diabetes. So, and a few other things. If you haven't yet, text the word T-Walk, T-W-A-L-K. Text the word T-W-A-L-K, T-Walk, to the phone number 41372. That'll get you the free guide of foods to eat and foods to avoid. You'll get that link sent right to you. You can download it, get you some free game, and you'll also get a link to my Holistic Health University where I take you from beginner to expert on holistic health, my platform that I built because they keep censoring me on here because they want you sick, broke, stupid, and soft. That's the goal. And I give you detailed protocols for every single disease and illness. So if you, a family member, a friend is dealing with an illness, all you got to do is join the university. You go right to the module titled what you're dealing with, whether it's blood pressure, cancer, diabetes, cholesterol, eyesight issues, alopecia, erectile dysfunction, STDs, herpes, there's a detailed protocol for all of it. If you're new to my page, I posted brand new testimonials every single day. I never miss not even one day. Brand new ones also, leaving the names in them to verify that they're real. Brand new testimonials for three years and seven months straight. Never miss a day. It's never been done before. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. I did a video on turmeric. I understand that video on turmeric is like four years old. All right. All my content y'all see on here is old stuff. All my new stuff's in the university. But every time I post it, I get a lot of backlash. So one of the people today said, where's your sources? Where's your sources? So what I did was I pinned all the quotations from my peer-reviewed sources in the comment section. So if you look at the pinned comment on the turmeric video on my page, you'll see all the sources, easily researchable sources, but we don't research. We just go with the flow, right? So that's their one. And then I, I decided to respond because his post was, his comment was getting a lot of likes, right? Everybody wants to co-sign the, the hate, right? So I said, well, if you look at the pinned comment, there's my sources, which you could easily research, but you won't. You, still, you, you would rather spend your free time talking shit, right? Instead of reading, right? Also, this same exact thing was also stated by Dr. Sebi, who you should know if you know anything about holistic health. Decades ago, right? So that was my response. The peer-reviewed studies that you're asking for are pinned right here. Boom. And secondly, this was also stated by Dr. Sadie. Or sorry, I said the peer-reviewed studies are right here. People, oh, because he was like, who listens to this dude? Also, people listen to me because I post more testimonials than anybody else every day for three years and seven months straight with the proof and documents from their doctors and their lab showing that they no longer have these illnesses that they first told them they had until they came to me. Now they no longer have them. Thirdly, Dr. Sebi also said this same thing decades and decades ago. You know, I'm assuming you're aware of him. This person's response was <laughs> an ignorant response, per usual. Yeah, we already know about Dr. Sebi. People trusted him and believe everything that he says because he provided sources. So we believe everything he says. But what about you? I said, well, you just contradicted yourself because you just admitted that you believe everything Dr. Sebi says and everything I'm saying in this video that you're arguing against is everything Dr. Sebi said. <laughs> so now you're just one of those ridiculous people who probably have poor relationships because you just like to argue and bicker about stuff with no solution and no goal at end. You just like to run your mouth, right? <laughs> Does that make sense? You're arguing against me and what I'm saying about turmeric, because I ain't reliable, and again, let's just be honest, even though I've posted more testimonials than, doc, than you can find on Dr. Sebi, let's just be real, right? A difference of times, it's just facts. Let's be facts. Let's be factual. I've never seen anyone post brand new healing testimonials every single day for three years and seven months straight. Granted, there wasn't as much, there wasn't social media back then, things like that, so maybe he could have. That's great, but let's be honest, he didn't. So, therefore, you have a you're listening to someone who's posted more testimonials than the person that you're saying. One, let's be clear, right? Two, the argument you're making against me being wrong, your argument is that you you believe everything Dr. Sebi says 
But when I say it, and it's something that he also said plenty of times, you're saying I'm wrong and he's right, but you just admitted you believe everything he says, so therefore, yeah. The world is interesting. The world is interesting. The world is very interesting. Next question. Let's see, let's see. It's MS, yes. Follow the nervous system neurological issue protocol if you're dealing with MS. It's in the Holistic Health University. Uh, what herbs do you use to deal with heart valve issues? Anything with the heart, it's a blood flow issue also. So you can go right to the heart issue and heart disease protocol for that in my Holistic Health University. Uh, I can't pronounce your name. Jose, Jose, uh, I'm probably saying it wrong. Jose Carb Kaboom or something. Yeah, you will go right to the heart disease protocol in Holistic Health University. Links in the bio. You got to know some of these people ain't even real at this point. Facts. <laughs> A bunch of faceless, no profile picture, only from the neck up picture ass commenters that talk shit, right? It's like, you know, there's no argument to be had with you. I can clearly see from your profile pictures. It's only your neck up for one reason, because you're self-conscious about how you look, because you are high body fat, but yet you're telling me how I'm wrong about being healthy. There's nothing I can debate with someone who hasn't posted more testimonials than me and that is clearly unhealthy from the mere sight of their profile picture. So therefore, there's nothing really to debate. You get one response. If you go back again, you just get blocked. Most of the time you get blocked off the jump. Black party! Keeping it real. Where are we texting to? Text the word T Walk, T W A L K, to the phone number 41372. That'll get you the free guide of foods to eat, foods to avoid. You also get the link to my university, but also the link in my bio on TikTok, uh, IG1 and IG2. We're live on 3D phones right now. It's in there. Shout out to all y'all on uh, TikTok. This is the most people that's been in my TikTok live in months because they got me severely shadow banned because they want you sick, broke, stupid, and soft. Got about 800,000 followers on TikTok and usually only three to five people come into my lives and get notified. Think about that. Three days on the detox and you lost 10 pounds. Is that okay? M. Arius Jr. 5. Yes, that is. That is. That is okay. Again, I told you this is day four of mine and I'm down 10 pounds. So we're about on the same track. Facts. When you're detoxing, you're cleansing, especially those of you who've never really done an ex oh, dang, I'm wasting watermelon juice. If you've never really done one before, you're cleansing out your colon, out your intestines. So it's going to be easy to get that first 10, 20, 30 pounds off because you got all this trash backed up in your system that needs to come out anyways. It's been sitting there for 5, 10, 20 years. You know, you know, hold on, let me, let me get some sippage real quick. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let's see. What other questions? Thank you. Yep, yep. What other questions I got? Main page, backup page, TikTok. I don't know if it's my phone that I always use for TikTok, but it's so hard to see the comments on here. It's like, nice to see you back over here on home team. Yeah, y'all know all this started on TikTok. I started teaching and blowing up on TikTok. That's what's funny. Then I felt it coming. I felt the censorship. I felt the banning coming. So before my views got too decreased, I started pushing every day. Follow my Instagram. Follow my Instagram. Follow my Instagram. At that time, I wasn't even posting an Instagram post at all. My Instagram post was just little model pictures and stuff like that. It was no, it was no free game. So then from that, I got my Instagram to like, like 270,000 on my main page, 135,000 on my backup page. So shout out for all y'all. They did start on TikTok. Shout out to all y'all who did come over and listen and follow my other pages, my YouTube channel, which is the same name and all that. I appreciate you. TikTok definitely changed my life, for sure. You can watch my life story where I go more in depth on that. My life stories on my YouTube channel. Shades is crazy, right? Shades is crazy. Somebody stopped me and said, wow, I really love those. Those shades, not many people can... What the hell, is Spider-Man on my roof or something? <laughs> Why does this look? Look at this, on my main page. 
Well, I just look and there's a damn rope. They must be on the roof working on something. It's a damn rope. What's going on? Hey, yo, hop up off. What you trying to sneak on my balcony? It's the agents that are after me. Oh, okay, we good, we good. Just, just homie, getting things right. <laughs> like, yo, what's going on? My bad, other phones. I had to, I had to check on my safety. <laughs> had to check, check on my safety. Thought someone was trying to parachute onto my, <laughs> onto my balcony. <laughs> let's see, let's see. The people complaining about you not giving them free game don't realize that you're not obligated to give them any free game. These are the same people who feel like everything should be handed to them. <laughs> Super facts. Yeah, I gotta go live every day for an hour per day minimum and answer random people's questions that I don't know. No. Think I gotta make these free videos? No. All I gotta do is have my own platform and don't give out any free game anymore if I want it. But I do anyway, still. What other questions you got? You owned your spot, not just with info, but marketing consistency. Consistency, giving flowers while they're here. I appreciate that. One Mariables Fitness. Yes, I'm going hard. Had to start posting 30 videos per day, every single day. So somebody, somebody finally resonated and listened to what I had to say. Uh, pets? No, I don't have any pets. I don't have any pets. What other questions y'all got? Health, mindset, finance, business, which I want to talk about. Don't matter. Was good. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having an amazing day. I had the beach earlier. I got up super early and went to the beach at sunrise. So watched the sunrise at the beach. Got in the water. The water here in Miami right now is the warmest I've ever felt it since being here. It literally feels like bathtub water. Like it gotta be at least like 75 degrees. Did that, came home, showered, and then I fell asleep. I don't know what happened. I fell I fell asleep from like 11, 1030, 11 to like to like two o'clock, so yeah, I'm like literally just woke up before I got on here. Crazy, right? <laughs> what am I doing with my life? What a fucking loser. <laughs> but that's what you do. You take winning actions, and you get to a point where you're finally winning, and then you can live life like a loser and chill and play video games and relax the rest of your life. I always tell y'all, sacrifice 10 years, lock in, don't play no games, Forget all the friends, the clubs, the drugs, the girls, all that. Just lock in for 10 years. Do the opposite of what everybody else is doing. If you're doing the right things daily, you're being consistent, and you have a vision, boom, you do that for 10 years. So I hate your life for 10 years. That's what I did. I hated my life for 10 years. From 20 to 30, I hated my life. I had no life because I was locked in because I had a vision. By 30, I had all the money I needed and all the free time, no boss, no schedule, all my dream cars, paying my mom's bills, all these things. While everybody else was following the sheep and the hamster wheel and the crab and the barrel mentality, I just said, okay, that's clearly not working. 95% of people are sick and broke. So why don't I just, whatever you are doing, I'm over here and do the opposite. Easy. But most people aren't willing to do that because of the lack of discipline. No discipline. If there's anything you should know about me, you ain't got to like me or anything, but damn that boy discipline. This juice is TD, is t -walk. I don't know that, that comment already. I don't know what that sentence means. Maybe retype that. Peace, peace, peace. What up? Other questions y'all got? It's very important to be disciplined. Discipline is the difference between living and dying a lot of the times, right? 
A lot of people in my DMs, or my supporters, my followers, have no discipline. So, therefore, at the first sign of stress, at the first sign of panic, at the first sign of today's not going as it should, I gotta get a burger. I gotta go to McDonald's. I gotta stop at Chick Fil A. I gotta get some popcorn. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. Discipline. You think being on day five of this liquid fast, juice, pressed juice, and water this is the first thing I've chewed in five days, which is just water, no, which is ninety-eight percent water. So that's like a super light cheat, you know? It's a super light cheat. You think during that, there hasn't been a point in my head where I'm like, I need, I'm gonna eat some, I need some quinoa, I need some, I'm about to make a mushroom stir fry. <sighs> Man, the man says, You're disciplined. What are you doing? Stop being soft. It's easy. Everything's easy. The more you say it's hard, the more it's hard. Y'all know my phrase. I don't believe in if, try, can't, almost, or maybe. I get it done. No excuses, nothing to it but to do it. Point your finger in the mirror if you blew it. I'm going on a month with no weed. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Because smoking anything is going to create an acidic environment in your lungs and in your mouth. If you watched my video, my presentation on root canals in my holistic health university, one of the main causes of that is an acidic environment in the mouth caused by smoke, smoke of any kind. So therefore, if you're smoking cigarettes, weed, hookahs, anything at all, that's going to increase your risk of creating an acidic environment in your mouth and cause you to be more likely to need a root canal than other people. And therefore, root canals are very unhealthy. So then you're going to, if you choose the healthy route, you would have to get your two pools all because you couldn't stop smoking weed. Now you got a hole in your mouth or unhealthy root canal. It's a big factor of root canals. Somebody comment, Free game. Nobody want to hear that, though. Can I keep going? Comment one if I can keep going. Comment one if I can keep going. Or y'all like, yo, stop talking about weed. I'm talking about weed like that. Come on, come on. Comment one if I can keep going. Free game. So, you know, the, hey, I was waiting for that comment because that's right where I was going. It's right where I was going. So, you know what the weed smoker said? Yeah, I mean, everything you said in this video, all the facts, that is true. But it's all good because I consume mother leaf. I just take some mother leaf tea, some mother leaf, you know, so it's all good. Right? <laughs> Smoke weed, hookah, cigarettes. Bakes, whatever. Smokes. No worries. I'm sipping some lonely tea tonight. Right? That's equivalent to eating Burger King. It's all good. Scoop of sea moss. Burger King. Num, 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 num. It's all good. I got some sea moss. So you can't fix an issue. If you believe everything I said in that video is true, I mean, it's clearly making an incident environment in your mouth, in your respiratory tract, right? All these things. The chemicals that's in it, all the things I mentioned in that video, you can go watch the video your damn self, right? Showing you the facts on the screen, how the main ingredient in most of your weed is ammonia, because that's how they're growing it with the hydroponics and all that stuff, right? Those are tons of chemicals, you have no idea what they are, right? To make them grow at a faster rate or bigger, right? So that they can make more profits. Okay. So, you know, all these things are bad for you. Boom. But no worries, I chase it with something healthy not how the body works. You're never going to repair yourself doing that. Hate to break it to you. You got to stop the issue in the first place. Then we can add the right stuff, right? It says, what about edibles? You tell me, right? Let's go to edibles. What are some popular, like when you're consuming edibles, what are, like, what are they? Like, uh, how, how can I ask? What are they? Are they are they brownies? Are they cookies? Are they what are your edibles sources? What do you eat? How do you eat edibles? Somebody tell me what's what's common ways to eat edibles? Like what in what format? 
In what format? I'm not smoking, just mullin. Shout out to you, yeah. Paid, off, boss, shout out to you. How do you eat? How do you eat? How do you eat edibles? Exactly. Some of these edibles got gelatin in it, right? Snacks, syrup, gummies, candy. Keep it going. Thank you. Thank you. What else? Brownies, cookies, gummies, syrup, gelatin ingredients. I, but I'm not smoking like, like you said, T-Walk. I'm just eating edibles. I'm just eating edibles, so it's cool. Oh, great. So you stopped smoking, and now you're eating more cookies and brownies so that you can get the weed, which that weed still probably has the same chemicals because it comes from the same grower. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. You played yourself. Come on, now. Like, should I say? It should be common sense. But common sense ain't that common. I laugh my ass off. It's funny, right? Because now you're like, shit. Does make sense. I should have just kept smoking a blunt. But now I'm eating more cookies. <laughs> Yo, the, the, the world is so backwards, it's crazy. I'm the crazy one now. So yeah, T Walk, I seen your video about how smoking does this, blah blah. You're right. Now I'm eating more edibles. Oh, you're eating more snacks. Great. So now your weed has also caused you diabetes. Congratulations. You're right, though. That's all you can say. That's all you can do is comment laugh emojis. You ain't playing. You took the glasses off. You, all I see is laugh emojis. You're right. Because it's facts. It's simple. The shit I say is simple facts. And on top of the stuff I, I'm saying, being when I break it down the way I break it down, being such common sense, I also provide the proof of more testimonies than anybody else. So it's like... What are we arguing about? <laughs> what are we arguing about? <laughs> and so that's why I don't argue with people. I just block you. Because why am I wasting my time chatting back with someone who clearly isn't as knowledgeable on this as me and clearly has health issues, which I don't, and clearly hasn't posted more testimonies than me. And like you could say it sounds arrogant or cocky, whatever. I'm very arrogant and cocky when it comes to the knowledge I've obtained and the results that it's produced. There's nothing wrong with that. I thoroughly believe in myself and my ability to help you get rid of your illnesses and live a longer, healthier, more functional life and create freedom and wealth. Yes, there's nothing wrong with that. If you think that makes me sound arrogant or stuck up, just unfollow me because it's not going to stop. I thoroughly believe in myself. The reason most people fail, are sick, are broke and struggling because no one believes in themselves. The world is set up for you to not believe in yourself. I don't believe in myself. Therefore, I need a boss to tell me what to do and tell me when I need to get up and tell me how to do a, a task every single day and tell me when I can eat and when I can go home and when I can see my kids and if I can make it to their games or not. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need right? Because the world is set up to make you believe that you can't be self-dependent, which causes you to lose discipline if you don't have someone telling you, do this, come on, come on. Smack your ass off there. Come on, what are you doing? You need your boss. Hey, what's going on? Hey, 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 hey. Your teacher. Hey, 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 hey. Do, do, do it like this. Oh, yeah. That's what you need. It's done on purpose. Right? So. Somebody tell me I'm lying. Comment one if you know it's the truth. If you know it's the uncomfortable truth. A lot of you all want a business. You would never have a business because the moment you quit your job, you'll lose all structure. People say, I got this business and they'll get it to a point where it's decent and they quit their job. They say, I'm going on. I quit my job only to succumb to the fact that they realize they have no discipline. You had a schedule when you work for this company, which is a billion dollar, multi-billion dollar company, because clearly that's what worked for them to help them make a successful business. But then you go to start your business. You're like, yeah, I'm going to wait up like 11 I'm going to do like two hours of research. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to work on the website for like an hour. I'm going to chill for a little bit. Go play ball a little bit. Boom. Then yeah, I'm going to come back. I'm going to do like 30 minutes. This. I got to knock this out for my company. It, yeah. There's no discipline, no structure. You're not doing what it takes to create a sex successful life. So, therefore, you end up going back to a job. Facts. Right? When I quit, the moment I quit my job, I'm never, y'all see a video recorded. I'm literally in the room like, hey, today's the last day I'm ever working a job. 
I assure you, I would never be back in the 9 to 5. Just letting you know. I think it was 2020. I'm in the kids club at the gym. I was working as a general manager. Before I even left work that day, I sat at my desk at the gym and planned out my schedule, what my schedule is going to be for the rest of my life to make sure this is a success and not a failure, right? For me, it was content creation, my websites, my products. So I scheduled it just as if I had a nine to five. So I scheduled a nine to five thing because I knew that's what helps these other people be successful. So the big companies. So therefore, I'm like, okay, from six to eight, I'm doing holistic health research. From eight to nine, I'm editing previously recorded videos. From nine to, I believe I used to do like nine to 12, I'm going into the garage because I was living out of a damn garage at the time, right? I'm from nine to 12, I'm going to the garage. I'm recording 30 videos minimum. If it goes, if I ain't got 30 videos done by 12 o'clock, then the schedule's changing and I'm working later. Boom, I'm editing those. I'm making sure all those are posted. From 12 to two, I'm making sure I get my workout in. From two to four, I'm making sure I'm getting with my freelancer to get my website right, to make these changes. From four to six, I'm making sure I'm working on my ebook. You follow me? But no, people just be all over the place. Yeah, I got this t-shirt, and you know, yeah, this t-shirt. I posted it on Facebook four times this week. You know, it's dope, right? You like the, the logo on the front's hot, right? See that that motivational quote? It's fire, right? It's going to take a lot more than that. I hate to break it to you. Keep it real. Everybody goes to the um, T-shirts <coughs> because that's the easiest thing to make you feel like you're starting your own business. It's the cheapest, the most affordable. It makes you feel like you're doing something. And most of those fail. You could be the outlier if you go harder than everybody else. Most of you will just go just as hard as other people. Probably not even that. And because those other people had already dominated dominated that sector, the fact you went just as hard and not harder, you're going to fail, right? Free game. It's the glasses. I, I know. They're ridiculous. <laughs> I appreciate it. Let me see. Once you realize who you are, who you are, you'll laugh at your fears. That's a good quote. I need to become a boss, not working for a boss. Yes. Shout out to Dame Dash. You have a boss, right? Can you give your son part of this business right now? No, because this is your boss's business. Doesn't matter who you are, Char Charlemagne and DJ MB and Angela Lee. Yeah, you are big names. Congratulations, you have a boss. If you wanted to hire your son today, you would have to ask someone else to bring him on and see if they could fit him in. Great, you have millions of followers and dollars, but you have a boss, right? <laughs> who, who, if you ain't seen that interview, this is a reason why you have a boss. My son has cookies! Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Dave Dash. Comment one if you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you need to watch that interview. Very important interview. It's facts. But there's a reason a lot of people don't like Dave Dash. A lot of people don't like these people because they say what's on their mind and they say facts and it makes people like you less than when the facts you're saying, they can't really argue against it because they know deep down that it's true, right? <laughs> that really frustrates people. Like my page pisses people to fuck off. Cause they're like, they want to argue so bad. I'm like, damn, shit, I hate him. I hate his stuff. I hate his sense of humor. I hate his glasses. I hate his, he's always yelling. Pay attention, freaking. Uh, oh, he's always talking about food that I eat. Hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Damn, that shit made sense. I, I want to argue, but I don't. I know I'm not as smart as him when it comes to this topic. Dang, he's got all these testimonials showing that what he's saying is true. So, how the fuck do I argue with that legitimately? Ah! <laughs> Unfollow! I can't take it anymore. <laughs> So there's always going to be those characters, you know, people, you either love them or you hate them. With me, y'all know, you, you either love me or you hate me, right? There's very few people that support me that's like in between, like, mm. 
No, it's like you love me or you hate me. And that's how I like it to be. Because if you're indecided, if you're undecisive on that fact, that means that you low-key scheming on me anyway, right? <laughs> you low-key a hater anyway. I don't want you on my team anyway if you ain't sure if you want to be on my team. If you ain't sure if you want to support me, then that's already my answer. You're already done. Get up out of here. And that affects my life zero. Negative comments. Well, I would say the negative comments affect my life zero, but it actually affects my life very positively because the more negative comments, the more back and forth y'all do in my comment section telling me I ain't shit. It, it boosts me in the algorithm, which gets my videos more views, more shares, more likes, and gets you all who share the video talking shit. Look at this dumbass. Look, at T walk talk, think he know everything. Share his video. Boom. And then you realize that when you shared it, you might have a couple people to co-sign you. There's going to be a couple people that have a disease or an illness that I'm covering in that video. And they're going to be like, hold up. Yeah, nah, I see you're trying to hate on him, but he kind of makes sense. Let me go click the link in his bio and join his university and give him some money. Right? Free game! Drinking that juice. Yeah, let me answer some more questions. Facts. Free game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, link in the bio. I love this man. I appreciate that. All y'all that love me, show me some love. I get so much hate. I get death threats daily. It's ridiculous. They say, yo, I'm sick of you talking about chicken, bitch ass nigga. Keep talking about chicken steak and shit. I'm going to pull up on your bitch ass. Literally. Like, what? <laughs> you, wanna, you want to end my existence and spend the rest of your existence in jail because I recommended that you stop giving your kids... Fruit by the foot? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's insane. But most of the world is insane, so it makes sense. People want to end my life. <laughs> or at least say it. You know, it's a lot of typing, right? So every time I'm out, it's nothing but positivity. Everywhere I go, people pull up and tell me I've changed their life in a positive manner. But the DMs and comments I get daily, even emails, people say that they want to end my life because a video I made attacked something that they have an attachment to nutritionally. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. Like, it's so crazy. <laughs> Yo, I apologize. Like, like imagine they pulled a gun on me and I'm just like, I apologize. I won't talk about chicken anymore. Please, please don't shoot me. I promise I won't make any more videos about mashed potatoes. Just eat all the mashed potatoes you want, please. Like, I don't even know. Like, how does that? It's just like, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and that sounds ridiculous. So I'm just about right, do what you got to do. Because <laughs> there's no way I'm getting on my knees and begging to not, <laughs> begging you not to end my existence for talking about Turmeric, like it's not, it's going to have to lay me out. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. This world is insane. Now I got watermelon juice in my beard. Yeah, yeah. What else y'all want to talk about? What else y'all want to talk about? I see all the ones on TikTok. Shout out to all y'all listening in. Healthy and crazy. Free game. Uh, yeah, you can juice the rhyme. It's hard for me to see the comment section on TikTok. That's why I always look like that. Yeah, link in the bio. Join my Holistic Health University. Go ahead and do that if you haven't yet. <clears throat> Thousands of happy members. Getting those results. Getting those results because they know you know they want you sick, broke, and stupid and soft. All right. I don't know why this backup phone isn't allowing me to do what I normally do anymore. Come on. There we go. Is it going to work this time? Let's see. Let's see. I don't know if it's the, my Instagram account or if it's my phone. 
They're banning and flagging my page again. They're banning and flagging my page again. As always, I can't talk about fruits, vegetables, and herbs in peace without them calling it false information. I can't post testimonials without them calling it false information, even though I post the documents to prove it. If I posted a video saying, pop a perch and twerk, kill a nigga, shoot a nigga, it's perfectly fine. If I was half naked, it's perfectly fine. But if I talk about fruits, vegetables, and herbs, and how you can heal naturally and take the money out of their pockets, it's an issue. They're doing this to my main page, my backup page, my second backup page, my TikTok account, my YouTube channel, Bad my lives. Now it's a warning when you follow me. You probably shouldn't follow this guy because everything he's saying is false. Crazy. And this is exactly why instead of complaining, I started my holistic health university where I give you detailed protocols for every single disease and illness so that you can heal yourself naturally because they clearly want you sick out here in these streets. Now I can say what I want, when I want, how I want, weekly Zoom consultations with me, detailed protocols for every single disease and illness. It's only a dollar per day so everybody can afford it. Click the link in my bio to join now before this page is completely going again. Fully cloaked in my videos, I don't curse in my videos, I don't incite violence in my videos. All I talk about is fruits and vegetables and herbs. Wow. For banning and flagging my page again, Crazy. as always, I can't talk about fruits. They want you sick, broke, stupid, and soft. You know what it is. Link in the bio, join my university, my platform I built. So that I can say what I want, when I want, how I want. Shout out to the thousands of members that already signed up. Getting those results. Brand new testimonials daily. Three years and seven months straight. It'll be three years and eight months straight. In about a week and a half. Protocols for everything you could possibly need. That's a fact. A dollar per day. And as an added bonus, I take you from beginner to expert on 10 different streams of income. It's never been done before, ever. Ever, 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 ever. I'll holla at y'all later. Y'all know the phrase, do what you got to do, do what you got to do, because it's that simple. I don't believe in if, try, can't, almost, or maybe. I get it done, no excuses, nothing to it, but to do it, point your finger in the mirror if you blew it. Take accountability. Take accountability. Before I go, easy money underscore light says, take them damn glasses off, man. And to that, I would ask you, why are you worried about what another man is doing in his free time. Why are you spending your free time on another man's life that you clearly got a problem with, worried about what he has on his face? Are you worried about my face? That's weird. And this is, y'all should know my phrase, loser activities. Stop participating in loser activities. It'll get you nowhere in life. I assure you, you could have been doing something much more productive with your time, easy money underscore light. But instead, you could have been anywhere in the world, baby. But you're here with me, watching me, and you hate my guts. Imagine that. That's a weird life. I'll let y'all later. Peace out. <laughs> this world is insane.